they can't keep up with demand. It's a good problem to have, but it must be solved. I want to help you with a problem. So where would you like to start? What can we do for them right now when essentially they're asking us to kind of hold off and pause for a bit while they have to get their new facilities up and running? They can't keep up with demand. It's a good problem to have, but it must be solved. Plays six yeah. months behind solving their inventory problems. Yeah. So your job changes on this particular brand. It changes from Amazon brand manager to business manager. That's how it feels. Yeah. And so I would recommend that you ask them, hey, Stephen Pope was reviewing the account with me. I understand inventory, you know, is constraint. So then you're going to say, cool, what if we scheduled a meeting where we went through a list of questions to see if we could get ahead on this? And then they see additional value from you because you're solving their number one problem. And so with what time you have available on this account, you need to go on LinkedIn and make a post about it. Okay, I've got a brand that does XYZ. They have inventory constraints. What ideas do you guys have? You can crowdsource it. The other thing you can do is to become a manufacturing expert in their field and phone call these places. You become a business owner with them. But at the end of the day, they're going to be singing Janet Jackson, what have you done for me lately? Unless you do something for them lately. Because right now, let's say they bring on an investor. Let's say they bring on some venture capital. What's the first thing that venture capital is going to be like? Well, why are you spending money here if you can't grow it? And they're going to fire us. And so your job is to prevent that. Your job is to retain them. The only way you're going to be able to retain them with certainty is if you solve their inventory problem. And by the way, you're not going to do that in six months. But if you do it, you'll level up. Yeah, I think that's a good call. They started doing better retail sales, but part of that is because we've done good getting their brand noticed on Amazon. I right. want you to build them a business plan, right? So day one, you could build the framework. You're going to write, here is the problem. Here's the impact of that problem. Here's why we need to solve it. Here's how I think we might be able to solve it. The business plan is actually going out and solving it. If money can solve this problem, it's not a problem. It's an expense. All you need to do is fund $2 million, correct? If I found you three places that would finance this deal, would that be helpful? And they'll say yes. And then you're going to call a bank, a lender. You're going to come back with terrible rates and terrible options. But guess what it will do? It'll show, show them action. value, show them action. They do have a new production facility underway, finally. But I'm worried they're still not going to have the reins on it once it's up and going. But next year's problem needs to start now. Right. Because MAG is going to continue growing you. And if you don't listen to us, you're never going to catch up. I want to help upgrade your brand to be working on the business. Have you guys considered buying another brand that already has this problem solved, but is static for growth? Mm -hmm. Have you considered getting a loan? Have you considered building a second plant? Have you considered buying a plant in Mexico? Start using chat GPT and say, I need 20 ideas and then whittle that down to 10 good ones and then give them the 10. Yeah, absolutely. And then I saw a LinkedIn story about a brand that's a competitor of theirs. They just show up to baseball games and give away their product for free. Yeah. And if I were you, Brett, I would call them up and say, hey, I saw your LinkedIn video. I work for one of your competitors. And I was wondering if you could make a recommendation on how we could solve the fact we can't keep up with production. How are you solving this problem? And you will be surprised to find out that they will tell you the answer to that question just because you asked. And then once you're on the phone with them, guess what will happen? Be like, well, they'll ask you Amazon questions. And then you could bring the brand into the fold. It's not a bad idea. I might be doing that.